Ooh, what's going on YouTube? It's Daddy all day. It's a cook something day. Mm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm not excited. I'm not excited because I just lost like 15 pounds and it's probably going to make me gain 15 pounds, but it's going to be good. I'm just going to have to hit the gym hard this week. It's going to be worth it. So people ask me all the time. I just made that up. People ask me all the time. They say, D-Bad, you're Italian. What's the difference between pizza and pizza pie? Pizza pie is just what we call it. But what if it wasn't just what we call it? What if pizza pie was a thing? Imagine like lights going off and flickering and doo -doo 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 -doo. yeah, and then we'll get back into it. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to make a pizza pie. We're going to need some kind of oil. You can use butter. Um, butter works great. It's a little bit more fattening, but butter works great, especially if you whip the butter and you put it in your pan for non-stick. You can use spray non-stick. You can use just about anything. I have coconut oil, so I'm going to use coconut oil. It's a little bit healthier, and I know when you're talking about something this fattening, does it really matter if I went healthy? <laughs> just that little bit's got to help. So I'm going to use coconut oil. I'm going to use some Rao's sauce, some pizza sauce. I have... Pillsbury pie crusts, two of them, because that's how many I need. I have some pre-cooked bacon. You'll see what's going on with that. And I have two bags of cheese. I have mozzarella and I have a four blend Italian. Outside of that, I have my pan or my little, my little uh, pie dish. And I even have a pizza pan. So if you're gonna make a plant, like a regular pizza, you're gonna put it on something like this and you see the holes in it so the air goes up and it crisps the bottom. That's what this is for. This is a pizza pan. We're not using that. We're not using it. It lets um, grease drip through too. So you put stuff under it, grease will drip. It's got multi-function, but we're gonna use this. And what I what I need to do, what I, what I, what I need to do is I need to grease the entire inside of this. So first things first, I'm going to crack open my grease. Now, if you're using butter, if you have a stick of butter, you just take the stick, hold it inside the wrapper that it comes with, and just doo -doo 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 all the way around, and you butter it up. If you have whipped butter, you can spread it a little bit thicker so you know it's going to be there. This stuff is just awesome. So I am going to use this stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it on my spoon, and I'm going to start with the edge, and I'm just going to put a nice even coat of... Um, of coconut oil all the way around um, so you can see right there I'm just going all the way around my pan getting this entire lip from bottom to top you don't have to watch that part hold on okay so I have a fully lathered and greased up pan very very nice and now I'm going to take out one of these pie crusts I never used this kind of pie crust before it looks like it just rolls out and that's what we're gonna do um, I've got knives everywhere trying to rip it with my hand i have got knives everywhere all right Boop. that's a nice saw the xr whatever it's called it's just nice all right so let's get this pie crust out and i'm going to unroll the pie crust i hope without tearing holes in it because my big meat hands are not exactly the most gentle all right so here we go oh i did i ripped it a little I'm just gonna refill that. Good thing about dough is if you do rip your dough, you just use the dough like glue. All right, so I'm gonna unroll this. This is stiff, stiff dough. And once I get it unrolled, I'm going to put it down inside my pan like this. And now what I need to do is get it to where it is all the way up on every side. So I gotta just smooth it out Get it to the bottom make it form fit this pan all right so here i go just using my hand i'm using my fingertips to follow the edges right so you're going to see that is beautiful now i'm going to use my fingers to collapse it around the edges and i want the um i want the crust to be all the way up to the top all right so here we go you're going to find some parts that might be a little baggy. That don't matter. But as long as you get it to go around and all you got to do is knead it. I knead it. 
You just gotta knead that dough all the way around the corner until it looks like that. Beautiful. So next, pretty simple, we're just gonna throw some cheese in there. So I've got the, uh, the blend, the four cheese blend, and I'm gonna throw some of that in there. And remember, we're throwing a lot of cheese in. That's why I got the big bags. But uh, I wanna go about half and half, even though the four, the four blend already has some moots in it, some moots in it. Um, what I wanna do is make sure that there's more mozzarella because mozzarella is the really sticky when you pull it out of the pan it's going to stretch you want you want a whole bunch of mozzarella so that's why i'm doing it like this so i'm going to add some of that in there now and get rid of that this is going to be so good this is pizza pie pizza pie all right so now I'm going to put a whole bunch of moots in there. And the, the, the point of the four cheese is flavor. That's all it is. That's all it is. You want the, uh, the mozzarella to, um, to be your cheese for texture. You want the other cheeses for flavor. So I have almost filled this entire thing with cheese. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I got. All right, so let me put the cheese down here somewhere. Um, and if you're you're saying why aren't you doing this in the kitchen that's a good question um uh, uh, she's working in the other room and she's on the phones and the kitchen in that room kind of conjoined so I, I don't want to be loud she's in a meeting so now i have that i have my other boop, pizza crust, my pie crust and remember it's pie crust not pizza crust there is a huge difference and if you get the wrong one if you got pizza crust it's not going to cook up the same way. It's not going to be a pizza pie. It's going to be a pizza with some dough that might not fully cook. This way, you're going to ensure it. Now, I already preheated the oven to 350. So by the time I'm done with this, it should be just about ready to go. And let's unroll this one. It's so gratifying to watch it unroll. So we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to unroll the pizza dough. And all I'm doing is taking this pizza crust and slapping it right over the top. Right over the top, boop. And I wanna make sure it's nice and even over the top. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush it in the sides. I'm gonna push in, just like before, all the way around the edges. And I want to make sure that it's tucked in all the way nice and tight so it's holding the cheese in there. But I don't wanna rip through the dough. Remember, if you do rip through the dough, it doesn't matter, you can fix it but I don't want to do that. So this is what I'm doing. I'm just using my fingers. You're going to see it's going to have like all those little dots from the fingers. That's what you want. You want it to look like that. So do that. And then I'm going to pinch my dough across the top. So I don't want it to overlap the pan, but I want it to pinch together with the dough that was already there. So what I'm doing is I'm just finger thumb pinching and you'll see the, you'll see the effect. I mean, you've seen a pie before, I'm pretty sure. You know what I mean? You have to live in some pretty mental third world country to have never seen a pie. So, and for those of you who are, my bad. Um, welcome to America. Uh, so, here we go. So, I'm just going to pinch all the way around and make you watch that because that takes forever. Let me finish pinching. Hold on. Thing of beauty so now I am pinched all the way around the edges and I'm just going to give it one last nice tuck in there I really really want this to um, to have a nice seat on top of that cheese I just heard the beep 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 in my oven telling me it's time to go which means good timing because all that's left is the topping Ooh, wait till I wait till you see wait till you see so there we go I now have my my dough seated in there really well this is beautiful so far next step boom pizza sauce oh i love that sound so what we're gonna do is just pour some sauce on there not you don't want to go crazy with the sauce i just did a little over dump but it's okay because it's gonna spread nice then we're gonna take our rubber rubber spatula and we are going to spread that sauce around the top until you have a nice even coating of um of sauce going all the way around right oh maron 
This thing smells so good already. It's not even close. And this is all um, grocery store items, right? You just walk into the grocery store. It's right on the shelves. There, there's no real cooking involved. You don't need to have skills or talent to do this. You're just putting it together. So, last thing on the list. Last thing on the list is going to be the bacon. The bacon. And what you want to do, it's, since it's pre-cooked, you don't have to worry about, um, oh no, what if I undercook the bacon? No worries. Now all it comes down to is crisping it up, making it nice. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the bacon and I want to kind of make it into a crumble. Um, and... Uh, and that's gonna happen just by hand. Now, you if you have kitchen scissors, which I have plenty of, or kitchen knives, which I have plenty of, you can do that way, but I'm just gonna take the bacon and I'm probably gonna just rip it. Just rip it into a bunch of little pieces and I'll show you. So, here I got my bacon and I just wanna kind of rip it into, into crumbles and I wanna put it everywhere. So I'm gonna coat the entire top of this thing with bacon. Now you can, pre-cut your bacon and then when it's when it's ready to get to this stage all you do is take your crumble pieces and spread them all around i'm just doing it as i go because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it's going to take the same amount of time anyway if i do it ahead of time or not so i'm going to finish this and i'll show you what it looks like hold on Woo -wee. all right so now the main question is going to be d bad um how much bacon is too much bacon <laughs> trick question there's just no such thing there's no such thing as, as too much bacon. But here's the deal. If you don't eat bacon, you can use whatever the hell you want. You could put vegetables on there. You could put burger on there, sausage on there. You could put a whole blend of stuff on there. But it's got to be just like that. So you're taking the sauce and your bacon. You're putting it right on top. And now it's ready for the oven. Just like that. So uh, let's go to the next phase. Oven phase. Hold on. Actually, I don't even need to show you. I'm going to stick it in the oven at 350. And then I'm going to tell you how long it took me because, I don't know, it's... Just by the way the crust looks, we'll pull it out and we'll check it out. Hold on. All right, so while that's in the oven, let me remind you that the Jack Wolf Knives Midnight Jack is now online and available. So you can go to his dealer's list, look up the video, look up my um, my review on this knife. Super, super awesome. And I have the um, dealer's list inside the comments. Um, so that one's there. Uh, don't forget that my folder is on the way to being com fully completed. I believe they pretty much are completed. Uh, so that one's just about ready. My uh, D-Bad uh, medieval style Wakizashi, my zombie slayer sword, my first ever sword, um, has now been shipped to me. So it's getting here. As soon as I get the photos done and the video done, it's going to be up on the website for February 24th on thekukrihouse.com and ready for sale. Not only that, but the Predator, my Predator knife design uh, has been approved and that one is already beginning. They, 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 right when he got it, they said, we already started it. They liked it so much. So that one's going to be good. And if you go to my videos, you will find, um, what's the video called? Let's look. So the video I put the uh, my new blades in is called D-Bad Blade Release Date Plus Updates and Next Design. So you can go check that stuff out. One thing I left out in that video, mind, I, I don't know how I left it out, was my new design that I'm doing with uh, Master Bladesmith, Master Bladesmith, Jed Hornbeak. Hold on, I'm going to pull this up. Telling you that thing is going to be super dope. So that's my um, my collaboration design with Jed Hornbeak. Uh, going to be awesome. Let's go check this thing. It's been now almost 15 minutes. All right. So you can see it's, it's cooking. It's getting there. You can tell it's cooking because the dough is changing. It's shrinking a little bit. So um, what's, what we need to see is we need to see brown. We need to see that dough really start to cook up. That's how we're going to know it's all done. All right, so this thing's almost done, and I just had a great idea. Great idea. I'm going to pull it out real quick, and i got to do this kind of quick. I'm going to bring it up here, and what I'm going to do is I just melted some butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the edges with butter. I'm just going to use my little brush, get it all where I feel like uh, 
the happy little happy little edge happy little butter all right so i'm gonna just get this all over just like ross would and make sure that the butter is sticking completely to the edge of this crust and then i'm gonna make a little bit more magic happen bob ross style okay so with the butter on there now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some garlic and herb and i'm just gonna give it a little garlic crust so i'm just gonna kind of let the garlic stick to the butter all the way around and that is going to be uh, nice so this thing you can start you can see it starting to brown just a little bit but we needed more brown so let me put it back in so one thing i forgot to do was puncture the top dough you got to make holes in there because you need the um, air to escape otherwise the dough is going to bub um, bubble up and rise and that's what was happening it was just bubbling up so i just poked some holes in there and uh now it's doing good now it's doing good uh, that'll give it the last looks like probably five more minutes well looky looky what i just cookie so it's kind of hard to tell from the phone, but it is nice and brown. Looks white on the phone, I know. But that right there is looking beautiful. So now it's time to cut into it. All right. Let's see, I could use a pizza cutter, but I'm going caveman style trying to hold you guys. Just trying to hold you guys. Hold on, let me get this. All right, so it was in about 45 minutes. I'm gonna try to do all this one-handed while I hold you guys. Oh, let's see. Let's see, did I cut all, did I cut it all the way around? Oh. <laughs> now, that is pizza pie. Wow, look at this thing. <laughs> this looks amazing. All right, hold on. First bite time. All right, so this is this is the test of tests. <laughs> That's amazing. So um, I never did a pizza with actual pie crusts, and I never did it like this. Holy smokes! Mm, the bacon, amazing. Um. Oh, jeez, it's just so good on that pie crust. And I have to say, the, the edge with the garlic, oh, my own. This stuff is so good. Huh. All right. That's freaking amazing. So, make one of these. Remember, when you put down the first pie, I mean, the second pie crust, rip some holes in it. You can use your finger, rip little triangle holes, then it won't rise and bubble on you. I was able to correct it just by punching holes in it as it cooked. It took about 45 minutes, I think. <sighs> this will make you tear up a little. This is wonderful. Freaking wonderful. Golly, that's nice. All right, so that's it for that one. Hi, I'm Donnie Bialdi. Until next video.